Hey medicos welcome back today we will going to discuss about a very important topic that is testicular torsion why it is important to discuss about it yes because it occurs in about 1 of 4000 males aged less than 25 years and accounts for about 25 to 35 acute pediatric scrotal disease yes it is important to know about this condition now what is testicular torsion it is defined as twisting of the spermatic cord structure followed by venous congestion loss of arterial inflow and subsequent ischemia of the ischialateral testis so this is testicular torsion now one patient 14 year old male came to surgery opd with chief complaints of pain over scrotal region since 3 days squealing over scrotum since 3 days and yes there is no history of trauma so what do you think guys what is it so yes testicular torsion can be present as severe unilateral scrotal pain and there can be previous episode and spontaneous resolution it is related to the activity trauma or it can occur during sleep and it can present as nausea vomiting abdominal pain and fever so these are the symptoms we can say for testicular torsion now how can we diagnose this condition so yes while examination we can we can check for cremastric reflex now guys what is cremastric reflex yes it is a superficial reflex found in the human male that is elicited when the inner part of thigh is stroked stroking of the skin causes cremastric muscle to contract and pull up the ischialateral testicles toward the inguinal canal and yes it is loss in this patient now patient is referred to radio diagnosis department for ultrasonographic studies now look over here this is the image of the left testis now is it normal yes it is normal we can see that there is homogeneous echo texture right now look over here is this normal no we can say that here we can see that right testis appears heterogeneous hypoechoic okay and there is loss of vascularity arterial as well as venous yeah and look over here this is the left testis and here we can see that there is vascularity okay so why i am discussing about the vascularity guys it is important because twisting of this spermatic cord causes compromised vascular supply towards the testis that's why we did color doppler imaging now look over here because of this altered flow we can differentiate testicular torsion into two types in complete torsion or it can be complete torsion now when we can say there is incomplete torsion yes we can say when the resistive index is elevated more than 0.75 resistive index in testicular artery then we can say that there is incomplete torsion and there is also to and fro flow of the blood while in complete torsion there is absence of a blood flow in both the testis and epididymis so that is called as the complete torsion okay now now look over here this is the spermatic cord and we can see that there is twisting of the spermatic cord now what is it guys yes this is the whirlpool and if we cut this spermatic cord into the transverse section then we can see that there is when characteristic sign which can be seen in testicular torsion is whirlpool sign okay look over here this is the whirlpool sign so color doppler imaging is the most powerful and most rapid technique to establish a diagnosis of testicular torsion and to help distinguish between torsion from epididyma orchitis now there can be reactive hydrocele or there can be reactive thickening of the scrotal skin with hyperemia and increased flow on cdi this can also be diagnosed by the help of nuclear imaging and by the help of near infrared spectroscopy so what is the treatment of testicular torsion the testicular torsion 
is so surgery for testicular torsion is usually done under the general anesthesia during surgery the doctor will make a small cut in your scrotum and untwist your spermatic cord which is called as surgical detorsion okay and the second type of surgery can be done which is called as archaeoplexy archaeoplexy it is a surgery to move a testicles from your groin to your scrotum and per the procedure permanently fixes testicles to scrotum so archaeoplexy can also correct testicular torsion and prevent it happening again these two surgeries can be done okay now so likelihood of salvage of testicles is directly related to the time between onset and detorsion whether it it can be surgical or spontaneous so if it is less than 6 hours then salvage is about 100% and if it is in between 6 to 12 hours then salvage is about 50% while if it is in between 12 to 24 hours then salvage is about 20% so yes as intermittent testicular torsion ultimately may progress to acute infarction okay guys so yes this is the pediatric emergency and it should be treated as soon as possible to prevent the further causes so this is all about testicular torsion guys if you have any doubt you can comment in our comment section and yes thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one